Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. First of all, and as always, a big thanks to all of you who are supporting the channel by uh, hitting that like button or adding a comment. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot. So we are looking at the uh, EURUSD weekly time frame. And um, as you see here, guys, it seems like the level that I mentioned last week as a potential target and potential area of correction or at least uh, yeah at least a correction or a reversal uh, <coughs> did happen here on uh, friday now as you may know <laughs> thursday and friday there was a big um, move to the downside uh, in the stock market uh, based on that new variant of the coronavirus found in south africa and we saw many um, all the stock markets been moving strongly to the downside checking the SP on the weekly time frame and the dow uh, FTSE and the dax as you see here huge moves um, which make also the 10 years yield to also drop to the downside so honestly this move on friday on the dollar is a little bit um uh, strange because um normally you would see a stronger dollar in uh, when you see the market in fear like that but it seems like against the euro uh, especially against the euro uh, this technical level did hold while uh, when these kind of things uh, and the fear in the market we take we don't see technical levels work well and we will uh, take a look at that later during uh, watching some charts but checking the euro uh, nice bullish uh, daily candle here it came at a key level that we expected uh, some potential correction this could i'm, I'm a little bit sus suspicious about this move um i'm seeing this move as a potential um, manipulation or something like that because there is no reason for the euro to to be better than the dollar in such a market conditions but all in all we should keep in mind that thursday was uh, thanksgiving so there was no new york session and usually when they go on uh, Thanksgiving, they uh, also take Friday off as well. So there was uh, no liquidity in the, in the market, which make the, these moves much, much easier, especially in the, what we saw in the stock market. So this might also have that same reason. So um, Euro USD again, uh, the next level of interest, in my opinion, is this previous swing high here. And um, after that, uh, a correction all the way back to this area. If that would be the case and, with, and we see the Euro moving all the way back here this is in my opinion a good level to look for potential reversal and continuation if not already here it start moving to the downside and the, re the main reason i'm watching this level mostly is if we go to the daily time frame once again and check this area we look left it is a really key level looking back here all the way back it's been tested many many times and uh, such a correction could be uh, a nice level it, it would be uh, around uh, 50 percent maybe let's check that yeah exactly 50 percent retracement and that is not bad after such a um, huge move to the downside here to get a 50 percent correction and then potentially continuation to the downside so i will keep an eye on this level if the market will move higher otherwise if we check with the one hour time frame uh where is my RSI? Uh, if we check the one hour time frame here we see that we start having a little bit of a uh, divergence on the rsi it may give you a little bit of a correction already early next week and um, back down maybe toward this uh, previously broken structure could be the case but uh, the best level um, as first is up here and the even better level is all the way up here uh, where we might also have the 200 moving average on the four hour on this market sterling uh, not as strong as the euro as you see we end up with a bullish day on friday but all in all this structure is still bearish looking left uh, there is no clean level to use as support until this area down here there is some minors uh, minor swings but uh, the best level would be this area down here so if we check the weekly time frame on the sterling we see that we have a close below previous swing low 
And uh, we also see that the 200 moving average on the weekly is down here where I have my mark for a potential uh, mark uh, bearish uh, target. So uh, what's what's the play here um, right now? We've got a, a retest of this previously broken structure here. Um, it is a good swing. The market failed to break above it. And uh, if that would be the case next week and we keep seeing that sterling is failing to break above this, it might be a continuation to the downside. Otherwise, if they do so and they break higher than the next uh, area of interest, gonna be this level up here if they fail to break higher then we start looking for continuation all in all this is still a, a bearish structure trading way below the 200 moving average on the daily and that's why i'm still thinking uh, the downside movement is uh, to continue usd jappy now here we had a huge uh, risk of sentiment move as you see and um, yeah, we've been talking about this level. This is a multi-year level of uh, resistance and we are looking at the weekly time frame. Look how many times uh, since uh, May 2017, the market was never able to break above it. And there was a real attempts to do so uh, last week and the week before, as you see. But both um, these uh, weekly candles end up to be a strong uh, rejection back to the downside after um, the attempts to break higher we do have a, a, a strong bearish divergence on the weekly checking the daily here was the real attempt we had like two days above previous high but then on those uh, on that sentiment we had uh, last friday and um, yeah as i said earlier usually the markets stop looking at technical levels when it is in fear and uh, they did break two key areas here to the downside now what will happen uh, early next week well in my opinion it could be time for a bit of a correction this might be uh, that the market went uh, too far as usual when in fear uh, everyone start uh, selling and throwing their money somewhere else so um, this was only based on fear and there was no uh, if any uh, thinking behind it so we will see what the news will um, and the headlines will be out about this virus what what, what i've been reading that this virus is um to be concerned about but the the symptoms uh, are very mild so it is uh, quick to um uh, to to um move from person to person but uh, the, the symptoms are very mild so uh, my expectation is uh, that we uh, potentially might uh, see a correction here uh, after such a move uh, no matter what the reason is i think uh, it is uh, potentially time for a correction so where the market is testing right now is uh, already a good level or down here this would be the last line of defense before the 112 area so these are the two levels i'm watching for a potential correction now um on um, usd jappy so keep an eye here you might start having some kind of a correction we start uh, seeing a uh, bullish divergence on the one hour time frame as well so early next week maybe it is a good idea to target this level up here at around the 113.80 and anything above that will send us back toward 114.50 which is the key level of interest Aussie USD checking the daily time frame so another uh, break to the downside now did break below this level and testing the last line of defense this uh, last line of defense is the level of interest for now so where the market is testing right now um, is a good level to watch for next week because after that we will start uh, looking at uh, a target down here at around this double bar so is it time for a correction on this market well it could be as you see here uh, daily time frame we are bur uh, bearish uh, it did retest the 200 moving average failed to break above it above it and since then it's been moving to the downside without any real correction now the big question is it the time for a bigger a, be a better correction after retesting the last line of defense it could be so so where the market is testing right now is a good level to watch for a potential correction uh, next week so uh, if there is no break below here if you see some kind of a uh, 
spike to the downside and a quick move back that could be the sign that we might go back toward this area before the continuation lower this might continue lower but um, i'm anticipating a bit a bit of a correction now if that doesn't happen and we see a strong break below this that hold below then we start looking for further downside USD CAD uh, still moving to the upside nicely, trading way above the 200 moving average, making higher highs and higher lows on the daily time frame. Friday move was a very strong move with a break above previous high. And it seems like uh, the next target is uh, all the way up here. And uh, that was um, um, the reason behind this is a weaker stock market and very weak oil we will check uh, the oil chart late, later um, that made this uh, move um, uh, as huge as it looks uh, right here so um, we saw the break to the upside I've been talking about this level in our trading room uh, that it, it is a good potential support area the market kept failing to break below it then we have this four hour candle that broke the trend line and after that there was one direction only and that was bullish now most of the move um, could be done and we might look for a bit of a correction early next week and then further upside as far as we keep getting these higher highs and higher lows we might still looking for a continuation to the upside and as far as the market is trading above these trend lines the outer one and this inner trend line as far as the market is above these two uh, we might still look for further upside on usd cad and buying the dips usd chief um, <laughs> yeah safe haven move here uh, after retesting uh, the key area looking left been tested here here back here back here as well and yet again another failure to break higher now there was this huge move to the downside on friday which make the weekly time frame look like this now if we check this we still have higher lows on the weekly higher lows higher highs but here there was a failure this is a bit worrying that we did not see a break above this uh, previous high so this is a little bit worrying for the bulls uh, but on the daily time frame where the market uh, is testing right now right this area as you see it been tested many times as support and resistance uh, it is worth uh, watching this level to see if the bulls will uh, fight back here this void in price might get filled next week we know that when the market move in in a way like this one direction only most of the time we go back and trade these levels um, once again to the opposite side which is uh, which is a bullish not right now so uh, where the market is testing right now just dipped right at the 200 moving average on the one hour uh, sorry on the four hour and um, could be profit taking here end of the week end of the day etc that's why we've got this bounce but uh, in my opinion it is worth watching here it is not the first time when you see such a huge move that you see the market correcting all that back almost so my anticipation if they fail to keep pushing lower here next week i'm looking for a potential correction back up from this area um, gold <clears throat> also back down to the trend line so Friday there was a nice move to the upside but they failed totally and they uh, move all the way back down closed right at the 200 moving average on the daily time frame now since they are still above this trend line and this trend line is now confirmed with a three uh, three um, touches it is a uh, good trend line to watch and um, we could still say that as far as the market is above this trend line it might uh, start to move higher anyway but if you see a failure and a break below that trend line any break below this area that will signal a continuation move down here toward uh, the bottom of the range once again so as first keep an eye on this level if they keep failing to break below you might see a pushback up toward this area but a failure to hold the line in a break below will signal continuation to the downside on gold oil a huge move to the downside and um, the friday candle was a huge candle with a break below the 200 uh, moving average and a close below the daily 200 moving average that didn't happen since back here and um, we had this close and the market did move back above it though but all in all since october 20 the market never touched the 200 moving average uh, and now uh, it really did and 
yeah the next target uh, to the downside if we're gonna think about that like um, level of interest the 65 is in my opinion the next level of interest here um, <clears throat> what will happen next year uh, next year <laughs> next week I mean sorry um, maybe time for some correction looking left here this uh, whoops this area here um, tested um, many times here on the four hour time frame as you see one two three four five times without a break below so it could be a level to watch as an area of interest for the bulls or at least a correction to start happen here if the stock market to um, start correcting to the upside uh, next week i think oil might also do the same and uh, start moving higher so keep an eye on this level here if they hold the line here you might see some kind of a correction start to happen to happen at least toward the 73 area could be a potential level otherwise if they break below then the next target to the downside will be 6450 down below here on uh, this market and um, that was that's what it for this week guys thanks a lot see you next sunday bye bye